What's the crack lads? Welcome to our brand new V3.4 meta breakdown video. We're going to be looking at a variety of formations, tactics, long ball counter, quick counter and possession and showing you what is the current meta with players to use and a style of play that you need to go for as well if you're looking to go meta and up the ranks. Let's get straight into it man, let me know your thoughts and let's go. Alright boys, so we're going to be showing you three formations, three different tactical setups. We're going to have Pep with Possession, we're going to have Ten Hag or Valbuena with Long Ball Counter, and of course we're going to have a Klopp with Quick Counter. Now all of these are going to be very kind of similar players, similar everything, right? We're going to pop in and show you Pep straight up. Now I don't think that this is really that meta, but it is probably one of the top three metas. Obviously I think that the ultimate meta is going to be the one that we look at last, but for this here, you're going to be playing a tree at the back. Now you can kind of mix and match this, but essentially what you're doing is you're following that ultimate original meta, which is four at the back with three CBs. But instead of having a full back, you're making this a three center back partnership. This time we've gone for two destroyers, Maldini and Aldair. Two destroyers are really nice if you're playing aggressive or also if you have got a destroyer that can also pass the ball. 70 plus is a must with these two players or 75 with the boost around that. Marquinhos can also have 75. You're going to have one sitting deep anchorman. You're going to have two chase down artists, Makaleli and Vieira. Don't mind their overall ratings here, lads. I haven't retrained some of these cards or else they're playing out of position. Realistically, it doesn't really matter who you play here. It depends on what players you have in your team. You can put anyone that you really want in there. Just depends on whether they can win the ball back or not. If you're playing a C, MF, or you're playing somebody like Ambrosini or somebody like that. It doesn't really matter. Whatever players you have at your disposal, they're the players that you will want to play. So if you want Ambrosini in there, he can slot in there instead of Makalele. Essentially what you want him to be able to do is have really good aggression, really good pace, and just be able to get around the ball and disrupt everything. Same on the other flank with Vieira. So what you're creating here is a bit of artificial wit which are CMFs that are still able to win you the ball back. But if but what you want to do is get it up to your three killers up front and have Musiala to link it. Have a stopper, have a creator, and have three assassins up front. And it's all about passing the ball, being very comfortable on the ball. You can switch this up a little bit if you want to have a little bit more variety if you want to swap like this. And you can bring somebody like Messi out here to an attacking midfielder. And you can go a little bit more central if you want to go like that. Again, these are formations that... A lot of people will mess around with, but they'll still go back to the tried and tested true meta or the OG meta, which are still top of the pops. The second one that we're going to look at is going to be the OG meta. Now, this has been the meta since eFootball launched, really, the series launched. And I would say even in every football game, it kind of is the meta, especially in the PES series for years and especially now with eFootball. So we are going with a long ball counter here. With long ball counter, we are going to pop on deep line and counter a target. All you want is to have one of your attack and trio. This time it's Baggio, Leao, and Sun. We just want one of them to stay up. That's all we want. We don't want him we using stamina to track back or anything like that. It doesn't really matter who you pick here. You can slot out Baggio for Messi. You can switch Baggio and Maradona and have Maradona stay up. All you want is to have one of those players naturally that's going to stay up. Deep line is also one I feel like I need to do a specific video on. This is kind of a bit of an issue once you go up against a really good player. Once you're in Division 1, this can be exploited. But up until Division 1, you can get by with using a deep line on your solo DMF. The only problem is, right, and I will be doing a video on this as well. I've been working on it for a while. There is a difference when players go into the same vicinity as, as themselves, right, or as each other. So if Maldini is occupying the space that Vieira is in, the AI can sometimes leave a gap there, artificial kind of space that the AI doesn't close down. And you can, you can get picked apart by a good opponent. But other than that, it shouldn't affect uh, you too much. You also can put attacking on one of your players if you want to, such as Maradona, to keep him up the pitch. So now you've got your AMF and your uh, SS Baggio staying up the pitch. Son and Rafael Leao are going to have high attacking awareness to be able to stay up there as well. So that is one thing. But essentially what you're doing with this one is you are packing your back four with four center backs. Look, Bergomi can play CB. Uh, Tommy Asu can go out right midfield. Costa Corte can play right, mid right back. All of these are very interchangeable. When you're playing a three at the back with one fullback, you're not really too focused on the play styles. So you've got a destroyer, you've got a defensive fullback, you've got a defensive fullback, and you've got a defensive fullback. Now, a lot of people have said that defensive fullbacks have been buffed. I would say I agree with this. I think Araujo, Tommy Yasu, Bergomi, Costa Corta, 
they are now probably the top tier uh, central backs unless you play a little bit more possession and you just don't hoof it. So you can interchange all of these. And what people will do is, if you are conceding goals, you will say, right, I'm going to put Bar Pop Bargomi out right back. I'm going to bring him in. This guy's playing no aerial battle, so I don't need Costa Corta or Maldini to be in there to be a little bit taller. Even though Bergomi is, is taller here, um, that rule applies if you want Tommy Asu with a bit of height in there. Again, the same logic applies at all the top rank play. One holding or else a double pivot. If you want to switch this up, you can have a double pivot here very, very easily. You're still attacking with your four. You're defending with a bank of four or a bank of six and chasing down with a bank of six and you're winning the ball back with a bank of six and then you're attacking and killing off the games and scoring lots of goals. This is a bit of a more patient formation. It's not as aggressive as the new current meta, which we have up here at the moment. And of course, you can also modify this as well quite a little bit if you want to go into a little bit more detail. But we'll show you that with our final one, which is going to be Klopp's meta, the 4-2-2-2 meta, which is essentially going to be called 4-4-2-4-2-2-2, but we're going to alter it. So when you are playing this, it's pretty much the exact same setup. We're playing as a 4-2-1-3. But what we're going to do here is we're actually going to be switching this slightly to play a double pivot up front, two holding DMFs, and two central players spread out wide. This is kind of a new meta that people have flirted with for a while, I think. But I think now, with the way the current gameplay is at the moment, it is actually bearing a lot of results. Because you're you're basically narrowing and constricting your opponent. As keeping as narrow as you possibly can in the danger area that your opponent is going to score. Get, creating, again, that artificial width with Maradona and Baggio. Personally speaking, if I'm playing this formation, I would probably play somebody a little bit more... How would I say it? A little bit more kind of like creative um, than a dribbler. Like you have a passer here with Zico. He's a classic number 10. You can kind of slot them in. You also could go the other route and have run and gun. So you could play Neymar, you could play Sankras, and you could play any of those guys that are dribble centric. But uh, again, you're following the same logic. You've got a destroyer center back here. You've got Marquinhos who's going to be a build up to control the line. You've got Aldair who's going to be a destroyer with massive tackling and speed. And Bergomi who again can slot in there. You know, it doesn't really make a difference. And if you are struggling, right, you can obviously switch this on the fly. If he's overloading on the fly, you can switch this very easily and go center back there and switch Aldair out with Bergomi if he's crossing balls in at the back post on either side. What you're doing with your four at the back a lot of the time is you're kind of isolating the players and how your opponent is playing. So again, you've double pivot. You can alter that as well. You can pop one in here. If you were doing that, you can have a DMF here as well. If you want to, you can just drag him back a little bit here. And then you've got one sitting in front. So anything that passes Makalele has to go through Vieira. Anything that passes through Vieira and Makalele has to go through Marquinhos and Bergomi or Aldair, whoever you have in there. Any of these players can play any position. Look, you can swap these all day long, man. You can swap these and, and do whatever you want. You can put Marquinhos out right back and bring Bergomi in CB. And what you're doing with this is you're isolating the defenders one-on-one um, -on -one and taking them on. You have a little bit of width in Baggio and Zico or whoever that you want to put there. You can pop in Mbappe. You can pop in anybody that you want. If you run and gun a lot, you can pop in Neymar. You can pop in any of these guys. If you want to vary up your play, that is very, very easy, easily done with this team here. And it doesn't matter who you're really playing with. Essentially, what you're doing is you're trying to isolate your two boys here to get chances with Baggio, Messi, Rashford and Son or whoever you decide to play up there. And then you're defending with this little four there. And then obviously you have your other two to, to, to help you out. So that's kind of the three main ones. Now, if you guys would like me to do sub tactics and stuff, you this is where you can add a bit of variety into your game. Especially if you're having different styles. If you want to stay three at the back or switch from a four at the back to a three at the back or into a more traditional kind of um, role, you can do that. A lot of people are now playing a triple DMF which I think is a little bit too much. Some people are also playing that. So what I would do is if I'm playing a sub tactic, if I'm trailing the game or if I'm up 2-0, I would switch to my defense, uh, defensive tactic here as my sub tactic. And all I would simply do is take out Baggio. So I would substitute Baggio out for maybe somebody like Bellingham or anybody like that. And then when I have my sub tactic on here, Bellingham is going to slot back into a DMF or else a CMF role, depending on what player that you have in there. Of course, you could pop Rijkaard in there to have Vieira, Makaleli, Rijkaard, Pirlo, Xavi Alonso, anybody. Essentially, what you're doing is you're creating a bank of seven. That's what you're doing right there. Four defenders and three defensive midfielders, and you're just hoofing the ball forward. This is very effective as well. 
especially if you're holding on to a lead and you're playing against a good opponent. But let me know what, what you guys think of these formations. That is where the meta is at at the moment. I am working on an anti-meta as well, a super fun trio of formations. And we're also going to analyze a couple of teams from matches that we've played as well. So let me know what you guys think. It's a very kind of like, um, you know, non-gameplay style video. Um, I will throw in a couple of clips here and there. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is kind of where the game is at at the moment in terms of the three most meta formations with a couple of tweaks and alterations. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are using. And don't forget to subscribe. I will chat to you later. Peace.